It looks like copies of the interview, the comedy movie about assassinating Kim Jong un, have crossed into North Korea. South Korean activists have resumed their attempts to send anti Pyongyang leaflets and movies across the border, despite North Korea's warnings that such acts would be answered by military strikes. For details, here's our Hwang Song Yi. Thursday's attempt to fly anti North Korea leaflets turned out to be a failure. Police stopped a South Korean civic group from sending 300,000 leaflets and 100,000 copies of the movie The Interview, a black comedy that depicts an assassination attempt on North Korean leader Kim Jong un. We wouldn't fly the leaflets if Kim Jong un apologized or showed remorse for the torpedo attack on the South Korean warship Cheonan. This group, led by North Korean defector turned activist Park Sang Hak, called off a planned leaflet launch last month amid concerns over public safety. Two weeks later, with no apology from North Korea materializing, he's decided the launches must continue. However, another civic group beat him to it and successfully launched anti Pyongyang leaflets and DVDs of the interview last Saturday. South Korea's unification ministry said Friday there have been no changes to its position on the controversial activity. The government will resolve the issue of the leaflet launches with the balanced position on guaranteeing the basic rights of the people and protecting the residents in the border region. North Korea fired machine guns at air balloons launched by South Korean activists in October last year. The regime has consistently warned that future launches from the South would be answered in the same way. But with the balloon activists vowing to continue their launches until North Korea guarantees freedom of press, among other demands, tensions on the border are expected to flare up again. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.